fiddle, mandolin, and violin players. If you want to learn about the major chord and what chord arpeggios are, watch this video. Hello, I'm Pete Martin. If you'd like to see more videos in this series, or other videos of mandolin, fiddle, improvisation, and other music subjects, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. If you like the video, please click like. Leave any comments below. Because many concepts build on previous videos, if you are new to studying music theory, I suggest you go back and start with video number one in this series. There's a PDF file that goes with this video. Find this by going to www.petemartin.info, click on videos, and scroll down to find music theory for fiddle, mandolin, and violin, episode number three. Players interested in improvisation should check out two series I'm doing. Improv from Scratch is for non-jazz players who want to learn to improvise or want to learn to improve their improvisation. Jazz players should check out the Barry Harris for Jazz Mandolin series. Both of these work well for violin and fiddle as well as for mandolin players. Find these by going to petemartin.info, click videos, and scroll down. In episode number two, we learned about the major scale and the number system. In this video, we will expand on these and find out how to construct a major chord and how to play major chord arpeggios. If you need to, review video number two. The link is shown above. Most music styles in the world are a combination of melody and chords. Melodies are individual notes that make a tune. You can hum or sing them. A chord is a group of notes sounded together that makes a harmonic background for melodies. Most of the time, a chord is a combination of three or more notes, but not always. There can be two note chords, but they just are not as common. Learning these chords becomes very important, since if you aren't playing a melody, you're probably going to be playing chords. Let's return to our major scale that we looked at in video number two, the G major scale. It is the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. For the number system, we once again use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1. See this in example 1. major chord is constructed of the one, three, and five notes of the major scale. Applied to the key of G, or the G major scale, this is to notes G, B, and D. See this in example two. If you find the information in this video useful, I ask that you consider supporting my channel through my Patreon page, www.patreon.com slash Pete Martin. For about the price of a cup of coffee, $3 per month, 
You support the making of videos, instruction articles, and transcriptions for fiddle, mandolin, and improvisation. Thank you for considering this. Notes can be repeated in chords. Even though the G major chord has just three notes, G, B, and D, we can repeat any of those notes in different octaves if we want to play more than three total notes. In example three, I play a common four note G major chord duplicating the note G. Fiddle and violin players can just strum the strings with their thumb of their right hand if they want to hear the sound of this G major chord. Open G, open D, index on the A string on the B note, and the middle on the E string on the G note. The notes of a chord played individually rather than all together is called a chord arpeggio. In example 4, I play the G major chord arpeggio from as low as I can play in first position, the note G, to as high as I can play in first position, the note B, and then back down. My website, www.petemartin.info, has videos, instruction articles, transcriptions, information about fiddle and mandolin lessons, plus 13 instruction books I've written for mandolin, fiddle, and improvising, one of which is an introduction to music theory. Feel free to email any questions or comments. The last page of the PDF file has where all the G, B, and D, or 1, 3, 5, notes are in the first 16 frets of the mandolin or in positions 1 through 6 on fiddle and violin. Also notice the colors for the notes. One is blue, three yellow, and five red. Choose any place you can play all three different colors and you have many different voicings of a G major chord. Look at this now. If you have questions or suggestions, please use the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon, and click like if you feel so inclined. Also, check out my website and Patreon page the links to which are on screen and below. I'm Pete Martin. Thanks for watching.